This is a WXII 12 first warning weather update. Good afternoon. So sorry for interrupting Tamron Hall. We just want to make sure that you know what's coming this weekend before you head into the weekend here. The bottom line is that we're looking at measurable snow and ice, especially on Sunday. Some strong winds coming with that snow and ice and that extra weight on power lines and on trees. Plus those winds could mean some power outages. Not only that, those icy roads continue into Monday with temperatures below freezing and potentially through most of next work week as well. Here's where we stand right now, so we want to make you aware of it now because the skies are clear, temperatures are mild. Overall, things aren't looking too bad. We're in the low 50s, upper 40s right now. But as we head through the next couple of days, some significant changes. When you wake up on Saturday morning, we're cold and cloudy, but that's about it. Later in the afternoon, we start to pick up some light snow showers here and there. Occasionally, even some flurries making it down to the Piedmont Triad. That is not the concern, though. The concern comes as we head into early Sunday morning. In fact, there's a break before that happens. Here's 2.30 a.m. on Sunday. We're still waiting for this event. And then as we head through the next couple of hours, all of this winter weather moves into the area. Now in terms of winter weather, we've got a little bit of everything going on here and that's why this is such an important forecast for you to hear. We've got snow in the mountains throughout the foothills and mostly throughout the triad and the Piedmont, a mixture of snow and sleet and you see all this rain here. Well, even that's a pretty significant problem. That's because that's freezing rain and that'll cause icy surfaces, trees, power lines and all of those concerns there and quite a bit of ice is expected to fall out at that. As we head through the day on Sunday, we'll have times where the Piedmont Triad transitions to primarily or entirely snow, and then occasionally that sleet works its way back in. As we head through the overnight hours by 4 a.m. on Monday, looks like those last couple of showers will have dried up, but it'll leave quite a bit in its wake. So here's what you can do now. Make sure you have these emergency items. If you don't, maybe it's a good idea tonight or tomorrow morning to head out and get them. Flashlights, batteries for the flashlights, a radio, non-perishable food and blankets, Make sure you have fuel for alternative heating and cooking in case you do lose power. And of course, if you absolutely have to be out on the roads on Sunday, I really would prefer if you didn't. But if you need to, make sure you've got a full tank of gas, you've got boots, shovels, ice melt, you've got the scrapers, all of those kinds of things that you need in your car. And it might not even be a bad idea to have some food in the car if you're traveling a long way. Here's a look at the weather timeline. We've got Saturday night into Sunday morning. Some of that light snow flurries here and there. Wintry mix in the southern spots of our forecast area. But then as we head towards Sunday midday and afternoon, wintry mix of snow, ice and rain. Sunday evening, the storm will end as snow for most and then mixing with some sleet here and there. Here's a look at our precip types that are most likely for each spot here. More snow with some maybe ice in the mountains and the foothills. In the Piedmont, snow and ice mixed together, causing a lot of messy weather. And in this area shaded in pink here in our southern and eastern parts of our Piedmont, we've got mostly ice with maybe some snowflakes here and there. As far as snowfall accumulation, snow and sleet combined, well, in the highest elevations of the mountains, over a foot of snow possible. Other spots in the mountains looking at 8 to 12 inches of snow, 5 to 8 inches in the foothills, 2 to 5 in the Piedmont, 1 to 2 inches in our southern and our eastern spots. And I will say that the moisture for most of these areas is about the same. It's just the moisture type that will change. So the further south and east you go, the less the snow and sleet becomes a threat, the more the freezing rain and ice becomes a threat. So everyone looking at it. Sunday. So here's what we know right now on Sunday, no matter what, we're going to have measurable snow and ice and strong winds. What can still change? Well, the exact timing, the exact track of the storm could change. That could change precipitation type in some spots, and that could change some of our totals. More snow, less ice, less ice, or more ice, less snow in some spots possible. But no matter what, no matter what those totals end up being, you should prepare for hazardous travel and for power outages. Icy spots all throughout the forecast area as well. And then as we head towards Monday morning, temperatures below freezing, some slick spots possible and even possible over the next few days after that. But of course, we'll keep you posted right here. You'll want to stay with us with every piece of data, with every little tiny run of the models that we get in. We are updating this forecast and we will continue to update this forecast throughout the weekend. But for now, we'll get you back to Tamron Hall.